long range returns, and many more have been developed by the, our dear scientists and engineers. And of course, biotechnology too, India is a farmer nation, so many of the products have been brought out by the, our scientists and technologists. But mostly we are technology follower and not a leader in many areas. It should be our aspirations and dream that in the coming 25 years, that is 100 years of independence, we should be an innovation and technology leader and not path follower or path finder. <coughs> this is possible only when you all contribute to the fullest energy and work space. We are all thinking about making India, we are talking about making India and it's important for the self-reliant India. But you all know that our wonderful Prime Minister recently mentioned many places that we need to move from making India to make possible. For that, our products and services and solutions should be a world class and it should be a quality and it should be a true with the cheaper cost. Some of the challenges in the, you will be facing in the next decade or next few years are, of course, many of you so you know that it is Internet of the Things, AIML, big data, data mining, cyber security, general sequencing, nanotechnology, energy, either from the hydrogen or from the ocean, water, climate change issues, and drone robotics and virtual reality, quantum computing, and green and blue economy. When you are talking about blue economy, Ministry of Health Sciences, where I belong to, is an important ministry to deal with this. Basically, health system science deals with all five components of the health system, that is atmosphere, hydrosphere, geosphere, cryosphere, and its related biosphere, and their complex interactions. The Ministry of Health Sciences holistically addresses all these aspects relating to the health system science for providing weather and climate services, ocean related services, coastal state, hydrological and sea policy related services. The services include forecast and warning for various natural disasters like tropical cyclones, storm surge, floods, heat waves, thunderstorm, lightning, alerts for tsunamis and monitoring earthquakes, etc. In addition, the Ministry also has a mandate to develop technology for motion survey and exploration for both living and non-living resources from the ocean and also explore the all three poles, Arctic, Antarctic and Himalayas. The services provided by the Ministry are being effectively used by the different agencies and state governments for saving human lives and also minimize the damages to the natural resources. Dear graduates, we live in a blue planet and with the ocean seas around the around us, more than 70% of the earth surface is covered by the ocean. Oceans provides us countless benefits to our planet. Oceans feeds us, regulate weather and climate, and also generate half of the oxygen what we breathe in this using phytoplankton. It provides living and non-living resources from fisheries to marine biotechnology minerals to renewable energy. It also offers social and economic goods and services and also tourism and recreation, shipping, maritime transport and security and coastal protections. It is imperative to understand our ocean better management to conserve, protect and restore future generations. The Government of India's vision for New India by 2030 highlighted blue economy as the one of the ten dimensions of the growth of the country. Of course, in the same time frame, United Nations also announced 2021 and 30 is the United Nations Decade of the Oceans. The prime objective of both of the things of the Decade of the Program is the science we need for the ocean reform. The outcome of the ocean decade include clean and healthy ocean, resilient, productive and predicted ocean safe ocean, accessible ocean, and inspiring and engaging ocean. India will soon bring up the blue economic policy, maybe in a month or so, and the essential component include basically focusing on the blue economy framework, and marine spatial planning with the coastal regions, and marine fisheries, manufacturing and emerging industries and trade, shippings, deep sea mining, 
new and renewable energy from the oceans and ocean security, strategic dimensions, and finally, ocean governance. The Ministry of Health Sciences will be the nodal ministry for administrating this ocean policy. Under this, recently, maybe in a year or so, the Ministry has announced the ocean, deep ocean mission. Under that, both technologists and scientists will play a pivotal role in terms of developing appropriate technology and it is aimed to have a man at 6,000 meter depth in a few years and also develop for climate protection services and exploring mineral resources in the Indian oceans, both uh, very uh, rare metals and other minerals and also finally energy and water from the oceans. We will be soon recruiting many manpower in our ministry for this uh, important missions and involve also private industries. So I don't want to give advice and I would like to mention some of the food for thought which is my request. This always this Navaratnas has to be one to be found. Basically you have to maintain your honesty and integrity to come in the years of your life process. Have fire in your belly, recognize the there is no substitute for hard work. There will be ups and downs, keep working, be positive and think differently. Be a practice to learn at least something new in every day. Don't be afraid of taking rationalized and calculated risks in your life journey. Set a goal and work towards achieving the same. And perseverance is the paramount important thing in your life journey. I hope Especially people in 
the department of science and technology it is because the growth of science and technology is really moving really fast and that we can really further to understand what way it's leading to the government recently was looking at how the next 25 years should be and what we should ambition for the country to be when we become 100 years now post independence <coughs> and the honorable prime minister when this presentation was telling me that it is very difficult to foresee the future because the technology is moving at much faster pace and whatever we desire whatever we plan for today will never be the thing that will happen and there are many other aspects that goes around us which will actually disrupt the entire way we look at technology and the growth of science and in, in this the whole world for example the pandemic we, nobody expected that the pandemic will come and will disrupt the entire thing nobody expected a war in ukraine and russia will also disrupt the way we work in science and technology area and we will never ever expect that we will, we will have the artificial intelligence will change the way we look at the whole of education science engineering the, the, and our careers etc etc even the devices that we handle will really get transformed into something that we never ever imagined so it's a very exciting time to look for what is there in store for us for the next 25 years and that is excitement keeps us in space as well the people working in space and building rockets satellites and applications it's an exciting time because the conventional mechanism of building all of this are changing very very fast you will be seeing it the rockets are now flying in so many numbers the last, this year itself you would have seen that in the whole of the world almost 100 plus launches are taking place it is unprecedented it has never happened before and the number of satellites that are going to orbit are increasing in, uh, in day by day and they are projecting that will be in 3000 2000 numbers of satellites will be launched in the days to come and we never expected that no communication directly from our to a device from satellite will ever be possible and, but that's that just become a reality and that too you know the type of data rate that you are able to get in your devices seeing the world and conducting education now doing business and doing design collaborating into the internal and the communication backbone that is existing in the world and all of these are very disrupting ideas and beyond this we see the way the humanity is also taking shape in various other domains like the biotechnology and all those domains Dr. Vichandra just now mentioned about that so for you the people who are graduating now I think whatever you learn here, whatever you are trained here, will become within no time uh, irrelevant. And probably whatever you have learned may never be ever be used in your life in the future. But what you learn is to learn future. Whenever you need something to be learned, that you are now being trained, capable to handle that, and then equip yourself to understand how this the whole transformation will take place and how you yourself can equip yourself to handle those transformation. So I will only tell you that today uh, when you graduate out of this institute you should all look at what what you should be, how you should be in shaping your career in this changing world. I will suggest that you become a T-shaped personality. This T-shaped personality is somebody who has a horizontal bar and a vertical bar. A vertical bar is one that defines you as an expert in some domain. I think one of you are going to be, you are being called an engineer in this such and such a domain, or you are a PhD holder in this domain. But it will also be looking at how big is your horizontal bar, how much is your breadth of understanding of other domains. And I will tell you that the value of you will only increase if you become deeper in your subject domain but also wider in your breadth of understanding of various other elements that makes systems and mechanisms and institutions that will work for making something happen. For example, people like us who have been working in rockets, I am, I am a mechanical engineer but I had the fortune to, to build a rocket but a rocket is never a mechanical engineering product alone. It is a combination of so many types of technologies and sciences that finally makes a product like a rocket and for us to understand it, it takes many years it takes us to assimilate the knowledge and skill of thousands of people to build something like this it's a very complex process so 
first and foremost that you should develop a quality of respecting domains other than yours. Just by developing the skill to respect others, then you will actually learn a little bit of that. And, and if you can really get to know something more than your actual domain that you are an expert in, I believe that if you are an expert in one domain, you can always become an expert in multiple domains. Let it be uh, no, the civil engineer and some of them who graduated here. You can also learn a little bit of electronics. You can also learn a little bit of mechanical engineering. Also chemical engineering. Also uh, handling people and also understanding a little bit of economics. You know, a little bit of law and a little bit of policy and the world affairs. And all of this together makes a perfect person to handle complex problems of tomorrow's world. I think this is what our institutions make a person out of. I believe once you graduate from here, continue to remain as a student. And I believe the domain that we are representing, I think today we are inaugurated the satellite building. I think this is one of the excellent areas where a multidisciplinary domain can be explored by people of the trust. Where mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, computer programming, you know, dynamics, complex you know, uh, uh, interactions with the various uh, material sciences, Etc. Etc. comes into play. It's a real true world of multidisciplinary engineering. <coughs> when Dr. B. C. J. Vargas thought about an aeronautical course to come here, I think it is transforming itself in an aerospace course and then in the days to come. But the space become an integral part of the entire life of human beings. I think there is no escape from it. I think from, from that point of view, let me thank uh, the institution, the institutes for honoring people like me coming from space sector uh, and also person who is uh, coming from the divine sector to be on the same board to be awarded this after honor is possible. Thank you so much and great days for this. Thank you.